Hey guys, this is Comic You Know, and today I'm doing a review for Black Canary issue 2. Before I start talking about Black Canary, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Comic You Know, episode 105, and that's the show where I review all the comics I read this week in one show. And here are those exclusive comics we got Fathom Blue, issue 2, Postal, issue 5, Captain Britain and the Mighty, uh, Mighty Defenders, issue 1, Revival, issue 31, Silver Surfer, issue 13. Invincible, issue 121, Captain Marvel and the Carol Corps, issue 2, and Hawkeye, issue 22. So if you want to go check out all those reviews, go to Comic Uno, episode 105. So check that out. But let's talk about Black Canary, issue 2. Uh, now, after reading Black Canary, issue 1, uh, I know this book is very punk. It's very influenced with music, which makes sense, because... Uh, Dinah is now in a rock band. Uh, it's not exactly the Dinah you might know uh, previously. It's definitely a different version of Dinah. Uh, but it's there, you know, it's Fletcher's and this Korea's team version of Black Canary. Uh, so, you know, issue one interested me enough. I think it, I had an interesting story, an interesting direction it was going. But, you know, I'm not a big punk fan. So, and, and again, it's very influenced in that here. Uh, so that's kind of taken me out of the book, but at the same time, I'm still interested in the story and Dinah training her band members to fight. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, cover is awesome. I really, I actually really like the colors and the way it pops here. And then you have, um, the target practice in the background. Very creative cover. Uh, I feel like the artwork, again, is something you're just gonna have to get used to, and I've started to get used to. It's a bit brighter in this issue, because, you know, they're, you're not in music venues uh, with this issue. Uh, they're outside in, like, this desert area, so artwork it, I'm getting used to, uh, and the coloring I'm getting used to. Uh, but let's talk about the story. Uh, but also, I just want to talk about the format, too. It's kind of weird. They actually have, like, articles. It's fake articles, like fake magazine articles in the middle, and I don't know if it really fit. I kind of wish these magazine articles were in the back, though you could have chose if you want to read them or not. Uh, I kind of skimmed through those articles. I'm like, ah, they're kind of interesting, and then you have like a fake poster here. I'm like, ah, I don't know if it really fits the book, and it kind of ruined the flow for me of the book, uh, so I kind of wish that was more in, in the end. Uh, but let's talk about the actual story. So with this issue, it's uh, Dinah, again, training her bandmates to be kick-ass. And her bandmates, you know, kind of learning a bit more about Dinah. Uh, kind of. I mean, Dinah's still very secretive. Uh, and by the end of the issue, you see that someone's been following them the whole time. And it was actually her husband uh, who's been following them. So you have that big shocker. And I thought that was a really good cliffhanger. Like, I, I do like that, yes, she's a rock star, but she's doing it just to become a superhero again. You know, uh, you know, creating this uh, friendship friendship again, or not again, but creating this friendship with the band is really cool, and, you know, they don't all, they don't all love each other in the beginning, so it's got to really see this formation of unlikely heroes coming together, unlikely people coming together to become heroes. So I like that idea, and then having to protect one, their, their friends, really, and learning that mystery. So I think this book has a lot of potential. Again, it's not for everyone, I'm gonna say that. I'm still getting used to it. It's definitely a different style of story, but I do think the story is definitely interesting enough. Uh, and I thought this issue had a really cool cliffhanger, and uh, I'm, I'm interested to see where the direction goes. So I, I give Black Canary issue two 3.5 stars. It was close to four stars, though, and I, I think this book does have potential. Uh, it might be a better trade read also. I think a lot of people enjoy this a trade more than single issue, but I will continue to pick it up in single issue because I am more of a single issue uh, reader. I also review single issues. So that's another reason. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I recommend you at least try out the first two issues to kind of see if this is your type of book. Because again, it's not going to be everyone's type of book. Uh, so I give it 3.5 stars. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Anew. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, in the description below, there's links for my comic book, like Father Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father Like Daughter. I'll see you guys later.